Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batool and welcome to the course of O-Level Computer Science. So we were doing the conversions of hexadecimal integers. In this video, I am going to teach you that how you can convert a positive hexadecimal integer into a binary one, right? Uh, okay, we all know that what is a binary number, any number that is in the form of zeros and ones, right? It's called a binary one and any number that is in the form of 0 till 9 and A till F. We have 16 digits to represent a hexadecimal integer, right? So what we are going to be uh, in this video is that we will be converting a hexadecimal integer that is in the form of these digits into a binary one that is in the form of zeros and ones right so it is very simple what you need to do is that you need to memorize this table right what is this table this is basically the conversion table it tells you that what these hexadecimal digits represent in form of binary or what is the value of zero in hexadecimal when we when we will see it in binary it is equals to four zeros right and one in hexadecimal will be equal to zero 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 one in binary why we are using four binary numbers here because we have 16 digits and in order to represent these 16 digits we need four binary at least we need four binary digits why we can uh, use the formula over here to find the number of bits that are needed in order to represent the 16 uh, hexadecimal digits so we know that uh, we can use the formula of 2 raised to the power n right and since we have these 16 digits so it must be equal to 16 so we need to find this n. What is n here? n is the number of bits, right? So 2 raised to the power, uh, what n needs to be in order to be equal to 16? Can it be 1? 2 raised to the power 1 is 2. This is not going to be equal to 16, right? So we need an, an, uh, a number uh, that when we do the power of that 2 raised to the power that number it gives us 16 so it is very simple it is 2 raised to the power 4 that will be equal to 16 yes so here we have found that this n or is equals to 4 and what this n represent it is basically the number of bits that are required in order to represent 16 digits right so that's why for each hexadecimal digit we need four binary bits right four binary digits uh, to represent it so this is how we have converted a hexadecimal digit into its equivalent binary number Right? So this is the conversion table that you need to remember and if I say that what is the value of 9 in a binary uh, number, in a binary number system, what is the value of 9 that is given to you in a hexadecimal number system. So you will say that it equals to 1001, right? Similarly, if I say what E represents in binary, then you will uh, see the table and you will say that 1110 e is equals to 1110 in binary right so this is the conversion okay now let me move into the example so that we can uh, actually do the conversion and tell you how we can use this table in that conversion so that it can be more clear to you right so moving towards the example Okay, so here we go. Here I have a hexadecimal number that is 45A and I need to convert it into binary. Then what I need to do? This is very, very simple. I just need to find the binary values of these individual digits in this table, right? Let me write the number like this, 45A. 
Now, what I am going to do, I am going to find the binary equivalent of these hexadecimal digits. A, what A represents? A is equals to 1010, right? So I will write it as 1010, right? Moving towards 5. What 5 represents? This is my 5. 5 is equal to 0101, right? 0101. Okay, now what is this 4? 4 is equal to 0100, right? 0100. So this is how we have converted a hexadecimal number into a binary one. So what would be my answer? My answer would be 0100010110. Sorry, 11. Sorry. Uh, 1. Sorry, 0100. 0101 and then this is 1010 right so this is the answer for this 45a hexadecimal number right so this is how we have converted hexadecimal number into a binary one let's take another example right Okay, so here we go. This is my second example. I have a hexadecimal number that is C8F. Okay, you may get a, a hexadecimal number in the form of CDFH. So you don't need to include this H in, as a digit. Why? Because this H represents prefix for hexadecimal number it's a prefix it means nothing but it just tells you that you have a hexadecimal number right so don't uh, just confuse with this digit because this is not included in a hexadecimal number this is just a prefix and it only tells you that the given number is in the form of hexadecimal number system right now what is my number that is c d and F. What I need to do, I just need to find out the binary equivalent of each hexadecimal digit that is given to me. F. Where is F? Here it is. Half. F is equals to 1111, right? So I will write it as 1111, right? What is 8? Here it is. 8, 1000. What is C? C here I have that is 1100, 1100, right? So this is the binary equivalent for this hexadecimal number. So what would be my answer? Collectively, it would be 11001001001, right? So this is the given uh, or the required binary number for this hexadecimal example right that is given to me so i hope that this conversion is clear to you and in the next videos we will see that how we can use hexadecimal numbers into different examples right so thank you so much for watching it and see you in the next videos and please watch those videos because you will be very clear about these conversions when we will do some other examples of that, right? So thank you so much for watching it. See you in the next video. Take care.